ya frame nyan sabo akwa ena na ji me ne me ma me me ne me nua ba ya ni afrika nyina dofu ba kope mama evelyn was ena nan ye shia se ana se fireworks adenti okun sunku edia to ehun se ade a wote ye fititi 40 years 30 years 20 years ago a ada otri ma che na ubisa questions and unya answers no ye de ye de ehun se o se ye hwe mu ye de ho no kra bro ye fe mysteries e hintasem here on your team, but just on your subscribe here. What may say a lot? Go back and watch the previous videos. Now, I'm wow, let's see the air can you see? And then you didn't come after the Cape Coast tour. I call you call yeah, Cape Coast Castle, who the beginning where church started in Africa in the Gold Coast in Ghana. Any situations are not church, let's see in yard that you don't call around, you know. And then the first time I trust right after that particular interview, now you buy a dear cook who name you perceive did the home come Questions we are matter to my end through the website. No, I'm busy, busy, mama. No, your time. Now it's me. I respond at the mama. The part of me, come over. Oh, no, dada. As I see, I prepare. You are called Ayakto. The Accra edition. Ayakto. As I see, ya awakening center. To a yoko yasia for nanyi nano. Yasha se, efri kumase. Kumase was massive. Oze krum, ya damase. Na nanu mamba be buwa. Ya nana jawo. Na adon fe. Bebi yobu tibi ya me chao. Na amase hene. Bebi yobu tibi ya ano. Asimjie enkaw. Mwa mwa kumase ya be kaya hu ya damase. Mwa be tiye bide nisam ne koye no. Obwa adi enche bim fi boga. Ibim fi biye. Ibim fi mtakwa. Omu nyi naba. Ya damase. Enkaw so ya ready. Uti ya miya. Uti ya only 100 Ghana students book a seat for this particular conference. Because we are not all. Not all. I have been in Tigo office no. I hope you do Tigo office anymore. Accra, Adabraka, Tigo office anymore. Also, about Nat Hall. Date on the 22nd of October. 22nd, Sunday, 22nd October. And the year in Asia. And on part 9, na Mama Trassi. And some no. And some are intimate kind of videos in the back of So get ready. Chiosika, number Negoasi and 100 Ghana cities. Uchiwepe. Flobi, wa wa brucha mo heye no. Chicha man ko fono monso ema meti yin sempa pebi. Inye si kani hiye o nemum. It is ke buwa buwa niye man yetimi. Edi eji. E niye ma yehiya. Edi edi juma yediye no. Ye feno ayato. Mama Evelyn Watson anan. Ena onne mpamfu e transia. Ye be kan simbi ya chao. Na da wa dan wet mi nyane. Ti wano. E awake nyane. Awake nyane. Ti ayak. Osik nyane. Ayak nyane. Kwa mwa ba. Ye ba. Et donc, comment on va faire ça? Maman, tu es là. Maman, tu es là. Tu as fait trop mal. 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 On your social media platforms, or more Musia, or more follow you on Yansa TV, a bride could do keep us. They can't say Baku, a chiba, Yako, me, and I'm sure they don't sober. But catch saying, what was the response so far as far as in some Oka or Hoya concern? Oh, any camper, a bean say a rebel. Hm. Oh, to me, who say, and call for a nyasa and salmon or mukremudada. Now, a bride did keep us to the end of buying, and it may be no more. I feel I'm not saying I say one seven who ye. Me ya ye follow up back up. Um, sister Raba, baby, I will be a Michael. Or friend me, that cry na pa. And some one ma me ne ka ye no me hold ye. Hmm. Or kasa about and fear be a extreme. Inti tiye be a onya ye. I ye be introduce you. Near my, ye see, obi de braying a besis and ye young copono, ye nini a young cofano. I fear your coffin, no so no nequire a displacing. I must say, won't be our own fun and ye may be ento. Or from any any they say, ya bossumpo, or no babyana, nay semono, and we hear on a pie a babya. Ye can't say, Ansan a bro for no babano, ye and him said, ye can't have buying a de boom, a de boy who buy. And no can say or no fini more for say yet the sad yen chileno. But or soon to a yin in a green chain. Who can't say that um you but we jar yet drew your bullet to and caught sir your man poison and yet juma or can I own a woo by a giant in a sir or can also be bray a bin so on what story no by a co yeah keep coast on a mafino um fiasia edit to two a dreamy moo and quiena and I can was him. 
the, the, the slavery in the mind, mm. which we kept on emphasizing in the video, you know, it gave them a better view of what actually happened with our ancestors and the things that we can learn out of it to better our life and also educate those who come after us. You're mentioning wake, awake. Nyane, this is the message you're channeling. Everybody's saying that we should wake up from our sleep. Are we sleeping? Of course. What we kind are. of programming are we in? Oh, Kasi We are all awakening here. Talkers, ye kika, ye baby, ye yuma, ye sika, ye baby, ye what? Yada. Even yada. This question will be best understood if you come for the conference. Because at the conference, we are going to talk extensively on the programming the religion and the strategies through which the religion was introduced to us how we can separate the mentality behind the religion and the religion as a whole as i'm speaking with you on this interview right now there are people who still hold to the mentality that it is the white man that brought religion to us without them we didn't have any mode of communication or relationship with the creator people ascribes the bible and its origin to the europeans at the conference we are going to talk about how the bible was even written the the way to even read the bible and understand it better so that we can separate the slave mentality that was attached to the bible as a book as a library which was about our father's relationship with the creator. Now, when you are able to separate these two, you realize that you have been practicing something that you have meditated upon for a whole lifetime and that you are not able to grow. You cannot mature. Like Paul said in the book of Hebrew, he said, for those who have exercised their senses have grown to mature to the level that we can talk to them about things that are deeper in the Christ concept, in the Christ consciousness. When you attain that consciousness, that is where you realize that you were asleep. Until you have tasted the true interpretations and the meanings of what is coded inside the library and how it affects you and your ancestors and how you can relate with it, you are doing something because you have used it as a memory that is why in in religion they encourage memorizing because when you memory you register something into your subconscious okay so from childhood you are forced to memorize certain verses certain scriptures that every day you will mention and and it's, it, it will register into your subconscious yeah but anytime that will ring bell if anybody tell you anything which is contrary to that one it becomes as if you are hearing something which is bad because the already message is inside your mind you fight against the new revelation and intelligence the reason is you have cultivated a habit over a long period of time that habit has become a character before you can form a character something must be habitual so memory verse was intended to register a certain belief system in your subconsciousness mm. the more you memorize it the more your subconscious because the subconscious cannot receive and register something unless it has been done repeatedly mm. the conscious can do something immediately but the subconscious must be habitual that is why if you practice a certain lifestyle for over 27 days to 30 days, it becomes your character because it has registered in the subconscious. You don't struggle to bring it out because it is there. So the so Bible you subconsciously mm -hmm. or you unconsciously behave that way because it's already programmed into your subconscious. So if you have been reading a particular memory verse for 30 years, that one is too damning, right? Yeah. Because even 28 days of repeated words, it becomes like part of you, your yeah. second being. Yeah. So let me ask you, so is, is memory versus part of the programming? It's a, it's a part of the programming. Whoa. We'll be reading some documents at a conference that will make you come to a real understanding of the strategies that are used to program the mind of anybody across that. Even you, you need to start programming yourself. Again? Yes, of course. Because if I buy a computer and I realize that there's a virus 
that is attacking the programs on the computer it's not allowing the program to run as it's supposed to run what do i do i use an antivirus to attack the virus on the programming sometimes it can affect the performance of some of the programs on the computer what do you do you reinstall the programs onto the computer so that it can work effectively for you so the programming that has been done for us for many years through memorizing so so, so let, let me put it this way so the same way you use computers as as, uh, as a point or let's say a reference point yeah. can you really adjust that to how we've been programmed with that memory verse so you said the computer has programming if that virus you have to do antivirus so what do you mean by we reprogramming ourselves what do you what do you want to mean by that example blessed are the poor for they shall inherit the kingdom of god you have been memorizing this blessed so many are years. the poor blessed are the poor for they shall inherit the kingdom of god do you know why go across ghana and beyond study the people who are very committed to religion it's not the rich it's the poor because they have been programmed that poverty as a condition can take you into the a promise to that promise that is greater that is why some interpretations will urge you and tell you that your future glory cannot be compared to your current suffering so therefore by projecting into the future glory you do not care the state that you are living the in pain, but the poverty misery. as a matter of fact is not a condition it's just a state of mind so it is the mind that is poor not the lifestyle but the mind's condition because it's been programmed to accept a certain way of living mm. so that programming will now reflect the kind of surrounding and condition you want to live in so poverty is not a condition no it is eh. a state of mind poverty is a state of mind it's a state so of if mind. you want to be poor you'll be poor yeah right so it, so if you are poor it's not about you being promised heaven do you know that people believe that through faith and a lot of fervent prayer they can receive certain uh, royalties from even places they've not struggled or they've not toiled some people can out of memorizing these things they refuse to reason with the same word so because of the program we refuse to reason with the word so talk to us now we must know that there are certain things that people attach certain sentiment out of faith out of certain belief system to so much so that they believe that they need a certain external power to be able to manifest simple reasoning to be able to manifest simple hard work so much so that simple agricultural techniques they would rather go and pray mm. they would rather call on a god somewhere to come and do it for them instead of just using a normal natural mind or intelligence so checking the seasons knowing that there's not the right time to plant maize he would rather pray even that dry season and still falls amazing to the soil. Forgetting that, mm -hmm. there are people who have not even come to the knowledge of your faith. Yet, they are able to do well in the same field that you find very difficult to be progressive if there is no external influence or energy or power that you call God. It doesn't mean that the concept of God is bad. No. But we have cultivated a habit which has registered into the subconscious it's part of the programming when you tell your child that what you are doing is wrong you are hurting your brother and your brother will feel the pain of what you are doing to him so you don't have to do it go and apologize to your brother it's a programming you are giving to the child you are programming the child that you are doing something to a brother and that that brother equally feels emotions, has emotions, and will feel the pain. If you tell your child that what you are doing to your brother, God doesn't like it. And God will punish you for doing this to your brother. It's a different form of programming also. Instead of using personal feeling and the pain, you're rather referring that thing to God, that God rather doesn't like it. So this child will grow up 
and will offend his or her neighbor and will go and kneel down and pray to a god because he or she believes that he has offended an external god that will punish him or her but not the brother because it's a programming over the years your mother and your father has been telling you like when we went to kumasi i asked them how many of you were born christians we had majority of them. you see how many of you were born muslims how many of you were born traditionalists then i asked them were you truly born a christian when you were coming to this earth realm were you tagged a christian a traditionalist a muslim somebody told you that you are a christian because you came into a family you came into a society this is where you pick the programming of i am this i am that i am this i am that if you weren't born into a christian family you will never call yourself a christian so it is a programming you have received that make you feel that you were born with a certain belief system or born with a certain faith so the program we are talking about is something that we must keep reciting to ourselves so, that so we have let, to let, work me, on it. let me go back on this child example you did mm -hmm. so if i am training my child today mm -hmm. if any of them offends the other i should rather tell them apologize to your brother exactly as you hit your brother it is paining him yeah. so the same thing you're feeling you, the pain you're feeling the pain so don't you shouldn't refer it to a certain god that no. god will punish you for no. doing that but rather tell the child that your brother is feeling pain if he does the same thing this is you so you rather apologize to your child mm -hmm. your brother than to apologize to god that's it the same way we do with our children when they offend us when they offend us instead of sitting them they're letting them know how the extent of the pain that we are going through out of what they did we rather attribute it to God. This thing that you did to me, God will never forgive you. No, he didn't do anything to God. You are programming the child to feel that whatever the child does, he is offending a God externally. It's the same programming we were given, that the sins of Adam has been visited upon generations to generations. If you are a father and you have a property, and that property is for you, you share the property uh, to your children, and then now you have a problem you are in debt that is where all your children will also have to come together and gather resource to support you mm. is that not it mm. assuming you are a father you have a property you didn't share it with any of your children squander it you, you you have not even squandered it you still have your property yet when you go in debt you call all your children and tell them that this debt is yours make sure that you settle the debt will they be happy no so why is it that adam's property was not shared upon every generation but his sin was shared upon every generation hmm. i'll be right back okay i go ayak 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 Nyame. we are coming to accra with the ayak tour this is the accra edition it's taking off on the 22nd of october 9 a.m prompt at the nat hall Please, gather all your loved ones, your family. Come and let us learn. Let us renew our understanding and consciousness. It's a wake tour. So wherever you are, from the east, from the north, from the south, from the west, bring all your people, your loved ones, even those who do not understand the concept of waking up. Register now with the numbers at the bottom of the screen. My name is Evelyn Wilson and I'm Asasiya. See you there. Welcome back. You saw it. I hope you will not miss it. Only 100 Ghana cities and you are there. Please book it right now. As you pick the number, call, pay your money, book it, take your code, and you are good to go. I know you will love it. Sunday, 22nd October, Nat Hall, close to Tigo office in Accra. That's it, Adabraka. Mama, tell us. You first mentioned memory verse. I want us to just spend some time there. So you, you pick Blessed are the poor. For they shall inherit what heaven. So, so I just want to understand: is this not part of the Bible? Why will you say that when you memorize that thing, you become poor than to think about becoming rich? Is it not part of the scriptures, or it was invented just to control the minds of people? That is why we are. I'm urging everybody come for this conference in Accra. You will be blessed for coming. I'm not talking about spiritual blessings that 
is being thrown in the atmosphere for you to take back home. But you'll be blessed by the kind of understanding that you will gain. And this understanding will become your property forever. Mm. And nobody can take it from you. You see, blessed are the poor, for they shall inherit the kingdom of God. Again, it is difficult for the rich man to enter into heaven. Another one. Yes. It is difficult for a rich man to enter into heaven. Yes. Okay. That is why the system of the church now, if you study it critically, you will see that not many rich people go to church. But more of the poor people, which is the state of mind, everything I'm saying is not a condition. You understand? I get it. But more poor people dedicate and devote much time and the more they dedicate and devote much time the more poorer they become because and when, they, when they become poor the concept is that you inherit heaven you inherit the heaven so it's like when you have you don't reason you don't reason when something is registered in your subconsciousness you don't it's a programming it's been programmed when, when it start entering you begin to reason but don't, when it sinks into it you you can't reason doesn't reason come with again. it because you do it unconsciously unless a certain carefully calculated programming is now being inserted into the system which is going to challenge the programming that is already there no programming can automatically be moved out of anybody and thrown away it doesn't work like that before you can install a new program you must tear down the old program or upgrade it so what we are doing is we are upgrading the programming that you have what are we doing we are challenging what you know we are provoking your intellectual to reason every faculty inside of you that promotes your intelligence we want to question that faculty mm. and allow them to bring out what they know relationship wise it's not about what someone have said relationship what okay you were told this for 15 years have you experienced it yourself how was it when you experienced it mm. we ask you questions that would challenge the relationship you have with what you have been programmed to believe example you say god has declared all of us even the unborn children as sinners because of adam yet all the blessings that adam enjoyed none of us have that blessing According but for to, the kids you're enjoying it okay so if we were not part of his his his, his success why should we be part of his suffering so you ask the god that is telling you that you are born into sin even though you've not done anything just because a man thousands of years ago sinned against God. Now we are challenging what you know that. Do you really have a personal relationship with it? These things that you've been memorizing, do you really understand what you are saying? We open your intelligence wide enough for you to start questioning yourself. Okay. So the, the, the awakening simply means that what you know, we are helping you to re-question the same thing you've been taught so that you can look for new answers to challenge the message. Yes, of So you, you, you're told that, David said, in sin, did my mother conceive me, right? Yeah. yeah. So where is that sin? You only just question it. If my mother conceived me in sin, okay. then you can question it yourself and that helps you to wake up. Is it because what you've been told is a lie? Is it, is it a lie? Is it not true? You see, any message that is given to people for a long period of time, there are some substances that will be missing in the message. We are living in a human society where people write down their stories, their history. Other people have to change their story and their history to different languages. That will be comfortable enough for someone who doesn't know the story to hear. Errors can happen through translations. Mm -hmm. Errors can happen through even... Um, communication channels. communicating what the person's understanding is if i should tell you to go around this community and tell everybody that i said i am here waiting for them tell one person let the other person tell the other person let the other person tell by the time you will get to the hundred person the the content of the message has changed 
that is why we are urging everybody what we are going to do in Accra on the 22nd of October is that we are going to take the slavery out of the scripture. Ah. So that's that. that will be a, 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 in what, no? what I've told you and those who are listening, think about it. No, go again, Did go you? again, go again. We are going to take the slavery out of the scripture. So there is a, a, a stent of slavery in the scripture. It was prepared uh -huh. purposely to encourage foster and and uh, quicken the slave idea of those who brought it here the message that slave message was there in the scripture not purported for that but it was used to enslave us yes. and we're still keeping the same message to today Good. so you're going to separate the slave factor of the bible yeah and explain it from the, the true library oh why don't I end this message? Brad? This is why awakening is important. Because once you, you realize that, ah, I have this book, but the book contains stories that were narrated to me with a certain premeditated mind. It's a mindset, but it's premeditated from the person that is interpreting it mm. for a particular purpose. Now that you know, what do you do? Take the idea behind the interpretation and sift it out of okay. the content of the message and okay. you see the true body the true body of that so we're going to massage the scriptures exactly see sections that were meant for slavery mm -hmm. then you are able to see the real source of those information what they were meant that's right the real meaning so that's that right. you don't get confused when they tell you those messages today that's right let me come back to memory verses before we move so the slave master brought certain verses that will really support his agenda. That's true. So if today you are, you are still reading the same thing and still thinking the same and memorizing line, the same memorizing thing. it in that same context, mm. then you are still a slave. Of course, mentality. Oh. Mentality is still un under slavery. What do you do separate when it comes after saying things like this? Uh, when it comes to conference, what, what, what do you do differently when it comes to conference? Well, we've been hearing you and we are enjoying your messages. Why do you have to come for a conference? There are some things we cannot explain okay. on camera. Our time is too limited. We cannot go in depth into certain things that we will love other people to also grasp the concept and the idea and build upon it. At the conference, we give you a personal touch to the message. At the conference, we take you to a grassroots and we expose you to the materials necessary to build that journey that you have started mm. through your way because awakening should also be encouraged to be done by the individual by him or herself so at the conference we give you the opportunity to hear certain things that will make you know that there's a long way for you to go and then we teach you from the grassroots how to start connecting so that you will have a personal relationship with whatever belief system that you have to wow. test the faith test the, the teachings Test the things that you have memorized for so many years, whether they are true or not. Wow. If I want to support this conference, is it allowed? Because very much I know allowed. I know I know that even the halls are very expensive, the the set is not easy, the billboards are not easy. If any company want to come on board and support you, individuals want to support you, it's allowed, right? It's allowed, they can Can we have your contacts that if I want to register, the numbers are I, I can I can call register through if I want to come to a conference, if I want to support. What are the numbers I can I can get hold of and, and, and support? Uh, these are the two numbers that we've released out there for the conference. The first number is 024002-5080. Again, 024002-5080. We also have another number, 054-084-7206. Again, 054-084-7206. These are the numbers you can call and register. When you register, we'll give you a code. The code will be your ticket to the hall. Thank you. Wow. Thank you very much for coming. You're welcome. I will be there. I know you will be I there. I will also be there. You have to be there. Kwame will be there. Sam Okwafo will also be there. So see you there. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Share this message to everybody. Listen, I want you to share this. Let Accra Conference be massive. No joke. Come and listen. Wake up from your sleep.